everybody knows the story of the three little pigs. Or at least they think they do. But I'll let you in on a little secret. Nobody knows the real story. Because nobody has ever heard my side of the story. My name's not important. I don't know how the whole big bad wolf thing got started, but they got it all wrong. Maybe it's because of our diet. Hey, it's not my fault wolves eat cute little animals like bunnies and sheep and pigs. That's just the way we are. If cheeseburgers were cute, folks would probably think you were big and bad too. But like I was saying, the whole big bad wolf thing is all wrong. The real story is about sneeze and a cup of sugar. Way back once upon a time, I was making a birthday cake for my dear old granny. I had a terrible season cold. I ran out of sugar. So I walked down the street to ask my neighbor for a cup of sugar. Now this neighbor was a pig. And he wasn't all that bright either. I mean, he built his whole house out of straw. Can you believe that? I mean, who in their right mind would build a house out of straw? So of course, the minute I knocked on the door, it fell right in. I didn't just want to walk into someone else's house, so I called, Little pig, little pig, are you in? I was just about to go home with a cup of sugar for my dear old granny's birthday cake. That's when my nose started itch. I felt a sneeze coming on, and while I huffed, and I puffed, and I sneezed a great sneeze. And you know what? The whole darn straw house fell down, and right in the middle of the pile of the straws, was the first little pig, dead as a doornail. He had been there the whole time. It seemed like a shame to leave a perfectly good ham dinner lying there in the straw, so I ate it out. Think of it as a big cheeseburger just lying there. I was feeling a little bit better, but I still didn't have my damn cup of sugar. So when I went to the next neighbor's house, the neighbor was the first little pig to go there. He was a little bit smarter, but not much. He built this house out of sticks. I rang the doorbell on the stick house. Nobody answered. I called, Mr. Pig, Mr. Pig, are you in? He yelled back, go away. You can't come in. I'm shaving the hairs on my chinny chin chin, you jerk. I just grabbed the doorknob when I felt another sneeze coming on. I huffed and I sniffed and I tried to cover my mouth like a gentleman. But I sneezed a great sneeze. And you're not gonna believe it, but this guy, this guy's house fell down just like his brother. It's a shoddy construction. When the dust cleared, the second little pig was there, in the middle, dead as a doornail. Wolf's honor. Totally believable. Now you know food will spoil if you just leave it out in the open. So I did the only thing there was to do. I had dinner again. Think of it as a second helping. I was getting awfully full on pig. But my cold was feeling a little bit better. And I still didn't have a damn cup of sugar. For my dear old granny's birthday cake. So I went to the next house. This guy was the first and second little pig's brother. He must have been the brains of the family. Because he built his house out of bricks. I knocked on the brick house. No answer. I called Mr. Pig. Mr. Pig, are you in? And do you know what that little porker said? He said, get out of here, wolf. Don't bother me. Talk about rude. He probably had a whole sack full of sugar, and he wouldn't even give me one little cup for my dear old sweet granny's birthday cake. How rude. What a pig. I was just about to go home and made me make a nice birthday card, card instead of a cake. When I felt my cold coming on, I huffed and I sneezed once again. Then the third little pig yelled, and your old granny can sit on a pig. Now I'm usually a pretty calm fellow, but when somebody talks about my granny, ooh, I go a little crazy. When the cops drove up, of course, I was trying to break down the pig's door. And the whole time I was huffing and puffing and sneezing and making a real sneeze. The rest is, as you say, history. But maybe you could loan me a cup of sugar. <laughs>